What's goody warriors? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I hope you're great too. I don't waste any time. I'm getting straight into it. Boom! Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel Studios, thank you once again for inviting me to one of your media events, screenings, I don't know. I saw a lot of famous people there, so you know, the fact that I was part of them, no big deal, because I'm one of the warriors. I'm, you, I'm with you guys, I'm not with them people, I'm with you. So I'm here to represent you and tell you what I thought about this movie, it's going to be a short review. In short, this film, movie was absolutely God-like. That's my review. I am done. It's almost God-like. That's it. There's nothing else to say. That's my spoiler free review. Can't put any better than that. Absolutely God-like. Go watch it. Until my next video, Warriors, be safe. Thank you, Warriors. Special notice for those of you that stuck around. Now the version of Guardians of the Galaxy that I went to watch was yesterday, the 23rd of Wednesday, as you can see right there. Boom, can you see that? Today is the Thursday the 24th, which is the premiere day and a day that people are like to, allowed to say reviews about the film. But what people don't know, unless you've got friends in high places, is that there is a secret ending that was pulled from this version of the screening and in the premiere screening and in every screening from every person that's going to what get to watch it before the film releases Thursday the 31st of July 2014 I have been lucky enough to watch the secret ending I don't know what to say to you guys. Basically, yeah, uh, there's a secret ending that was pulled from this version, but I managed to watch it today. Absolutely God-like. So it's important that you watch this one and don't listen to anyone's reports when they say there's no secret ending. There is a secret ending, but it's for the people that watch it on the 31st of July. People like me that watched it early don't get to see the secret ending, but I did because... Somehow I got lucky and, I don't know, someone loves me and they invited me to go see it. You know, so, believe me, if you're going to watch this film for anything, the film is godlike. But go to watch it for the secret ending alone. You won't believe it. I'm excited, I wish I could tell you, but I've been sworn to secrecy by the Marvel gods. Special treat, after the credits roll, this is the secret ending. I'm going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy, why I thought it was good. There was no Richard Ryder. Uh, was, it, was it Richard Ryder? Yeah, Richard Ryder. Nova. Even though Nova Corpse was in this film. You have to have Nova Prime and Nova Officers. But there was no Richard Ryder, which I was absolutely shocked about. But the film survived without him. So, I want to talk about the movie. I just got, I just saw a, uh, an alert that just came up. A subscriber. Thank you very much for subscribing. I want to thank everyone for subscribing and watching and Marvel for the invite, Odin Lesser Square. It was a fun event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lee Pei Star played Ronan. This is impl could implement the introduction of Scrolls and Captain Marvel. They weren't in this film, but if you introduce the Kree, you can introduce the Scroll Empire. And you can introduce the Scroll and Kree Empire War. Marvel, I'm just saying, you could do it. I hope you do. They implement that, they go to prison. Drax is in there. He's one of the people whose family was killed by Ronan. So obviously he wants to get at Gamagora because she's Thanos' daughter and works for Ronan. What you don't know is Thanos actually killed her family and her and her parents and her world and he raised her as a galactic assassin she never wanted to be with Thanos so she betrayed Thanos Drax tries to kill her Quill saves her tells her if you want to get Ronan keep her alive he spares Gamagura Zoe Zaldana Gamagura so that's their alliance sorted Bradley Cooper played Rocket Raccoon but they called him Rocket in this movie. 
Groot was played by Vin Diesel. Rocket Raccoon and Groot get captured as well because they try to get a hold of the Infinity Gem and Peter Quill. That's when they get captured by Nova Corps, thrown into prison, and they have to fight and join together to escape the prison and escape from Ronan who's after them. This is the basic premise of the movie. Thanos wants the Infinity Gem, Rona wants the Infinity Gem and Thanos' power to destroy, to destroy the Xandrians because that's his mortal enemy, the Homeland Galactic Police Nova Corps. The movie is not about the main story. The movie is about the characters' interactions. Gamagora, Drax, Rocket Raccoon, Quill, Peter Quill was played by Chris Pratt. Those guys, you know, it's all about their interactions. Everything else, Infinity Gem even takes second place to those characters. Even though Infinity Gem is a very, very big draw point of the, the Guardians of the Galaxy, while everything is happening, and Thanos. When you see Thanos in this movie, you will be amazed. He looks absolutely incredible. I can't tell whether he was a CG character or he was a real life character. I'm going to keep it real. Whether it was CG or a real person in mad makeup and touched up with CG. Whatever, Thanos looked absolutely incredible. I was actually applauding. And I shouldn't have because, you know, everyone tried to watch it film, but I was so amazed. The film felt like Star Wars, actually. Like Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. And it had like a little bit of feeling of Total Recall, that Total Recall feeling of like space colonies and planets being inhabited by multiple alien races and stuff like that. And you just felt, it just felt like a whole experience. When you're watching this movie, you don't feel like you're just watching a movie, you feel like you're experiencing something magical. Like that, that feeling you got when you watch Star Wars. There's a space battles in there. It felt like a proper space sci-fi action adventure extra epic movie. The film was dramatic, it was funny. It had a story, a plot, beginning, middle, end, pacing, story, details. They told it. Characters, interactions and relationships were explained and explored properly. I was like, this film came from left field, so I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. And the film just blew me away. It's absolutely astounding. The reason I didn't have high hopes of the film was because Captain America. Captain America set such a high precedence. I just didn't think Marvel could step up to that Captain America level again. They absolutely did with Guardians of the Galaxy. This film was absolutely magical. It felt like a proper, real, legitimate space movie. I have to give respect to James Gunn. I really do for the direction of this movie. Because you can see his direction was key to this movie being as good as it was. It's his direction because he directed every single scene felt important. There was no continuances in this whole film. The film, every scene felt linked. It felt like a continuous story opposed to being moments being subtly linked together to tell a story. It felt like a t continuous story. It might as, the film might as well have been one take. And Rocket Raccoon was so cool, I wish he had his UK voice. But he didn't, and it was cool. Bradley Cooper did a very, very, very good job. I love the film. Even the character Peter Quill was a really cool character. You understood him. He was the human that represented us in this crazy alien world. His, the way he liked music, his jokes, his metaphor. He just felt like a human being that was kidnapped, any like you, me, anybody that would be kidnapped from Earth in space, raised in space, would turn up like him. And he was the one constant in that whole world that made you love and enjoy the movie. May I'll give this film a 10, a 9 out of 10. The film was absolutely brilliant. The 3D and CG was spot on, especially with Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon was so good in the film, dude. 
I was gobsmacked. I was absolutely gobsmacked at how good this film was. Like, I recommend you go watch this film in IMAX for the immersive experience. Watch it in IMAX and 3D. Just go ahead and enjoy this film. Trust me. Come back and talk to me about this film and I promise you, in the comments below, you will agree with me how good this film was. Is. So check it out guys. Thank you for watching. And yeah, go watch the film and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Okay guys, take care. Eons ago I was ordained with the powers cosmic. The invincible invader, no one can stop it.